Well, hello civilians. Welcome back to our channel. And today we'll be talking about how hard should you work. So let's begin. Now let me begin this video by asking you a simple question. How hard should you be working? Now there might have been times when you would have been confused as to how hard should you work. Sometimes we all are confused about the amount of work that we should put in every single day. While there are times when we feel guilty that we did very little and we must have done more, there are also times when we feel overworked, exhausted and burnt out simply because we work more than our physical and mental capacity. Now if you approach various people and ask them about how hard a person should be ideally working, then you will get all sorts of answers such as you should be working 80 to 100 hours a week where you are burning the midnight oil and you will also get some answers such as you should only be working a couple of hours a day. But what's the correct answer and who's right? Now I think that you might be a bit confused and so am I. So to get an unbiased answer we will take a look at both of these perspectives and we will look at the pros as well as the cons of both of these scenarios. Let's say that you decide to work 80 to 100 hours a week then this means that you will have no time for your family and friends. You will also have no time for any leisure activities such as watching TV, enjoying video games or playing sports with your friends. Since you are working for more than 15 hours a day, most of your time will be consumed by your work. If you get any spare time, then you would have to relax and recharge yourself by sleeping for at least 7 hours, exercising daily and eating well. If you think that you will skip the part of sleeping well, eating healthy and exercising daily and you will be able to continue working without any major health problems, then you are completely wrong. It takes a tremendous amount of effort and focus to work for almost 15 hours a day and sustaining that kind of work ethic in the short run is somehow possible but if you think that you will be able to survive 15 hour work days for more than 6 months without a healthy lifestyle then you are only fooling no one except yourself. Millions of people today have glamorized working for more than 15 hours a day even when in reality it's quite toxic if you are achieving nothing. What's the point of working 15 hours every damn day like a robot for the rest of your life when you are unproductive, unhappy and unhealthy? You are a human and you deserve nothing but happiness in your life. While it sounds cool in theory to work extremely hard, it isn't that practical in real life. Various studies have shown that working hard is a bit dumb and taking some time off from work can actually recharge and refresh you which will allow you to come back with even more energy. The most successful people are smart workers and while they also work hard for the success, they rely more on smart work. A person who works smart with systems and processes will always beat another person who simply relies on hard work. But on the flip side, there are benefits and advantages if you work really hard. People like Elon Musk advocate for working as hard as possible. Elon Musk himself says to work twice as hard as your competitors in order to achieve twice the results in the same time. On the other hand, we have the 4-hour workweek club where people claim to work for only a couple of hours every single day yet they are earning millions of dollars, traveling the whole entire world and sipping cocktails at a beach. Working for just a couple of hours and earning millions of dollars. Hmm, now that sounds like a dream come true. But is it actually true? Well, it can certainly happen but it would require a hell lot of effort and time to create such a lifestyle and it won't happen overnight. In short, if you want to work 4 hours a week, then you would first have to work 100 hours a week in order to create and attain such a lifestyle. But this lifestyle has some advantages as it doesn't glamorize working extremely hard just for the sake of working hard. Since it focuses to design such a lifestyle where you can do most of your work with minimum effort, you can be rest assured that you will be productive, happy and healthy in the end. But this lifestyle has some negatives as well. When people like Tim Ferriss propagate the idea to create systems and processes in order to achieve more in less time, people assume everything to be very easy when the sad reality is that it takes a lot of time, money and effort to delegate, automate and outsource most of your work. Even if you are able to do so, you have to maintain and supervise the entire process and see to it that it's running as you desired in the first place. So far we have seen that working for 100 hours a week and working for 4 hours a week both have their own advantages as well as disadvantages. But if you have to pick one then what will you pick and what's the best alternative for you? Well if you want a clear answer then you need to understand a few things which are as follows. The number one point is what do you want from your life? Everything begins with you 
and if you're confused as to how hard should you be working, then you need to look within yourself and ask about what you want from your life. People fail in life and wander aimlessly because they just don't know what they want to do with their lives. You need to have a vision, a purpose, a calling that will act like a North Star and it will guide you in the most difficult times. You need to ask yourself about the house that you want to live in, about the car that you want to drive, about the life partner that you want to date, about the impact that you want to have on this world, and lastly about the kind of life that you actually want to live. When you have questioned yourself from all angles about what you want from your life, then it would be quite easy for you to decide if you want to live life to the fullest, then it would be quite necessary for you to work 80 to 100 hours a week. But if you want a fairly simple life where you have enough money to make you happy and satisfied, then you can definitely take some time off to relax, to entertain and to enjoy your life at your own pace. Now the second point is understand hard work. Now if you have figured out what you want from your life, then it's time to understand both hard and smart work. But we will first begin with hard work. Now there are millions of people who don't understand hard work. They think that grinding for more than 15 hours every damn day is hard work, but they are completely wrong. Most people keep on working without any vacations, breaks or downtime and this mentality gives them nothing but misery. Hard work doesn't mean to simply work for long enduring hours even when you aren't getting any results. It simply means staying consistent when others might quit. It means to put in the effort even when you don't feel like working. This is the real difference between successful and unsuccessful people. When most of the people will quit, the successful people will show up for one more round and give it another shot. Working hard means to set a standard for yourself and maintaining that standard throughout your life. If you have set the standard for working hard at working 8 hours a day, 5 days a week, then that's completely okay. If you stay consistent with that regime for 25 years, then you will be the most successful guy in the world. On the other hand, someone could get motivated after watching a movie and he or she might start working 100 hours a week, only to quit a few weeks later. When people think about hard work, they imagine a person working till exhaustion. But in reality, it's not quite the case. Realistically, you should aim for working hard that's sustainable in the long run. The special word here is sustainability. Anyone can work hard for 6 months and then quit. But if you want to be successful, then try working hard for 25 years or even longer. That's real hard work. Next time you think about hard work, then simply set a realistic standard for yourself that's sustainable in the long run and get yourself working. Working this way will help you achieve more than simply working 100 hours a week aimlessly. Now the third point is understand smart work. Now it's time to understand smart work. Now working smart simply means to work in such a manner where you put in the least amount of effort but still get maximum results. To put things in perspective, imagine yourself with a big suitcase. If you want to carry the big suitcase, you now have two options. Either you can pick it up and walk or you can simply pull out the handle and roll it on its wheels. If you decide to pick it, then this means that you are working against gravity which is quite hard. But if you just roll it on its wheels, then this means that you are working with gravity. The first scenario is hard work and the second scenario is smart work. You see, smart work is nothing but working in such a way where you can maximize your productivity. You can work for years and years and still achieve nothing significant if you don't work smart. Hence, always try to find ways to work smart where you will achieve more in less time by having systems and processes in place that will give you a lot of leverage. People like Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk were able to amass such huge fortunes even when they had humble beginnings because they did smart work. You can also achieve the same if you really work smart. Smart work creates a unique multiplier effect which enables you to multiply your effort and produce more results. Now we have made a video on the multiplier effect, do watch it for more information. Now the fourth point is combine hard and smart work. The last thing that you need to understand is the fact that you need both hard and smart work to succeed in life. If three people compete for the same prize and one is hard working, another one is smart working and the last one is working both hard and smart, then the last one will eventually emerge as the winner as he or she has the advantage of both hard and smart work. The people who work hard might develop an exceptional work ethic but they will never be able to experience success because they aren't working smart. The same goes for the people who work smart as they might be able to achieve more in less time but since they aren't working hard they will never create enough momentum to experience massive success. But the people who work both hard and smart will be able to experience wealth, fame and success because they truly deserve it. If you lack either one then your life won't experience a J curve. Now concluding this video, always remember that working hard which isn't sustainable in the long run is sheer stupidity. 
and you must always look for an ideal amount of work that you can sustain in the long run as well as maintain consistency in the short run. If you aren't working smart then please try to implement some systems and processes which will allow you to get more done in less time. In short, you will be the most successful when you combine hard work, sustainability, consistency as well as smart work. Hence, if you ever feel guilty of not working hard enough or you feel overworked and exhausted, then you can simply apply some of the wisdom that we just shared with you to make your life better. Well, that was it for today's civilians. Now, if you really liked our content, then please like, comment, share and subscribe. It's your likes that motivate us to make more content just for you. And do follow us on Instagram because our community of like-minded people is growing bigger day by day. So, thanks for being with us until the end. We'll see you in the next one. And thank you.